Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate Session 27, I believe, Part 2. It is November the 22nd, so 22nd, 11, 19. I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Lord Eric Greenwood, the Human Sorcerer. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the Half-Elf Druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Crumbar, a half Art Paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty the Kill, a Wood Elf Rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half Elf Monk. Every time, though, Wood Elf Rogue is so weird because every day I think keeps know. expecting Tabaxi Rogue. That's so bizarre. <laughs> I'm, I'm not yep. gonna lie, it does give me anxiety. <laughs> so, oh so sorry to everyone listening at home um, and us re listening. Uh, but here we are. Right. Uh, yep, yeah, so I think we, we open on. Let's see, Crumbar and Arya in the outhouse. So, that yeah. kind of sounds horrible, but I know what you actually mean. Yeah, it's, and it's not the Frenchman's house, as previously discussed. <laughs> so we're, so we're, we're, uh, we're, we're okay. Um, so you, you've been sitting, you've been having a drink, you've been kind of chatting back and forth, trying to get like the gist of Infernal, that kind of fell to the side. You started talking about obviously what's upcoming and what you need to do. Like, where does that conversation go, or do you just, like, go and do your own thing after that? Like, what's the, um, what's the well, scene? Well, I think, I think I'd just end up going back to, you know, training up a wee bit and mm -hmm. stuff when, I don't know what... Yeah, like, realising your head isn't really in a teaching mood, so you go and just vent a bit. Yeah, just go chopper, chopper. Okay, and what about Arya? Like, what does Arya do when obviously she sees like because you've had the conversation about not being in the right headspace for like teaching? So yeah, I'm just gonna go for a walk in the gardens. Yeah, because you know I like being around nature and stuff. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Um, Reach and Kitty. You said you were heading straight back. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Cool. <laughs> I like the team. Yes. <laughs> so you just get back and you head into the big estate and you see Arya walking kind of through the gardens um, as you are going in with your big popcorn tub of gold um, or brass I should say um, <laughs> so yeah Arya you spot those two kind of walking quite briskly it seems <laughs> I like Wave over to them, kind of like you know. Hello. Where's the fire? <laughs> I just laugh as I like make my way a bit further, like behind the house. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, do you heard maybe like back out towards the like the kind of like st the stone buildings are far enough away from the house that you just would have walked as if it was like a T junction towards the distance between the two. Um, so. Yeah. Do you tell Arya anything, or do you just head away from the house, like maybe closer towards where Crumbar and the outhouses are? <laughs> no, I literally just laugh to myself, where's the fire? <laughs> uh, holding a brazier, but... yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like, soon it'll be in here. <laughs> yep. Okay, yeah. And you walk by, so Arya, yeah, do you react to that? Does Reach just shrug? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely yeah. shrugging, kind of like, at Reach, kind of like, you know, What's up with her, sort of thing? Like, what's she on about? Yeah. Shrug as well and just keep following. <laughs> I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so, Arya, do you head back through the garden or do you follow them? No. Yeah, I follow them. I'm curious if anything interesting is going to happen, so I'm just going to go follow them. Yep. So, yeah, Katie, you wander through the garden a bit. You've got the option to go into like a heavily forested area or towards like the big stone buildings that we know in the meta, Crumbar's in. I'd, I'd head towards the stone buildings, you know, less flammable. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, and I think as you approach, you start hearing the hia noises of, you yeah. know, midi files. An artist at work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you get there, and obviously, Crumbar is slaying the mighty barrel troll. Crumbar, <laughs> yes. can you give us an attack roll, Crumbar? I can give AC you. AC 11. Attack roll. <laughs> uh, I have plugged in my character sheet. 
Wacha! Oho! Voila! Is this in damage? That's creepy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, he's hacking this weird barrel golem to bits. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Um, so, Grumbar, do you turn round or do you just keep going? <coughs> um, well, depends. Do I hear her entering or? Oh yeah, like. Well, I feel like we all just kind of stopped in the entrance way and just looked at you. Uh huh. Hundred percent. So if Crumbar turns around, you just get the shot of Kitty in the middle holding this precious baby brazier, and then <laughs> over each shoulder there is Reach and uh, Arya, just all kind of staring, slightly silhouetted. Just like Dead, deadpan faces, yep. like, <laughs> like resting, oh, okay. dead, like resting bitch face. Just like, anyone else want us? Anyone else want to try? I just shrug my shoulders and like walk on. <laughs> yep. So you're kind oh, of well. in like a kind of big. It's like a big storage kind of like building, I guess, a storehouse. Yeah. Mm. What do we do? Okay. <laughs> well, I sort of I set the the pot down, mm -hmm. sort of clear away any debris that might look like it'll be flammable, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I guess I start the ritual. Right, you. Um, so let us bring up this ritual so I can see it. Twenty seconds. I'll I tried to move something to another monitor when it wasn't popped out and my brain was like why does oh, this no. not work and I realised <laughs> that I had to pop the thing out oh my god thank you brain um, right okay so it takes an hour casting it's okay uh, let's um, see <coughs> what exactly are you casting Right, can, You'll see. can you, if you want to keep it super, super hush secret, type in which one of the, the those bits? <laughs> um, no, stop touching. Sorry, the cat's like uh, okay. rubbing, his, rubbing his face on the, on the corners of the tablet. <laughs> stop it. No. There's one that I want you to pick because it's so stupid, but it would be so cruel. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's an option uh, though. It's so stupid. Oh dear. Right, what are we going for? Um. In fact, do you know what's better, right? Describe it to me when we're doing the thing, right? So. Okay, cool. Oh, that's okay. Like. That's fine. You spoiled <laughs> me. Um, right here. So, you set the pot down. You get all your stuff ready. All that stuff you sweep away, you realise you could probably put at the bottom of the pot to burn. Um, you then pad it out with your charcoal, your incense, and all your weird herbs. Right? How do you start the fire? Or do you get one of your friends um, to help? I could help with that. No, we didn't I mean, I'm pretty fire. sure I've got <laughs> a fire starting kit. Oh, really? Like, um, does it look like she's preparing something that needs to be set on fire? Is it like, a, is it, is it a, a fire? Oh yeah, it's, it is a go it's a brass brazier that she sat down. It is a pot for burning. <laughs> it's a burning pot. Okay, yeah. I have a completely <laughs> different image in my mind about what that is. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> I think she was um, on the same way of In that case, I just, I just like walk past and like, you know, uh, 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 just make a little bit of fire there and just kind of like, you're welcome. It's not armoured. <laughs> yeah, this isn't like boys here. <laughs> well, I've got ten torches and I've also got a tinderbox. Uh, yeah, tinderbox, what you yeah, mean? but I've done it. So, yep, I was going to say, but like your druid friend walked past and went, you're welcome, and lit everything you put in a oh. pot of fire. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Right. So, you start 
Describe how this looks. You talk me through how this looks. Well, I'm just imagining it starts off like smoldering and mm-hmm. then it just, the fire just seems to get really impeccably big where it's almost concerning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like the, the rafters, um, like the, the wooden beams above are only so high, you know? Yeah. Like it's maybe only like 15 foot above you is maybe some wooden beams and these flames are maybe 10 feet. <laughs> So yeah. Uh, uh, yes, and then they sort of climb higher, and they sort of start t- turning different colours. So it's like not just a usual red fire. It'll be like it'll maybe turn a bit green, and then go to blue, purple, back to red, um, like sort of a, a nice rainbow. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, and it doesn't really describe. I guess that leaves it up for us then, doesn't it, mm-hmm. to describe yeah. how? Yeah. yeah. So does it just form from like the different colours all kind of like coalescing or? Yeah. So, well, it's supposed to take over an hour, isn't it? So. Oh yeah, this is taking suppose. ages. So like, here's the thing, right? So as you start like all this weird kind of chanting and burning <laughs> in a place actually full of flammable stuff, um, <laughs> even if the building itself is made of stone, everybody else watching. Uh, how long do you wait? Because she's at this for like by this point, like at least ten to fifteen minutes. And I think um... I'll I'll like be elbowing Rachel. I'm like, any idea what she's cooking there? <laughs> Obviously not implying she's actually cooking. Yeah. But just the idea of like. That does kind of look like it, yeah. <laughs> I think at this point as well, I'd probably be like a bit concerned about what she's doing because it's a case that um. Trying like, to protect your barrel oh, <laughs> Yeah, it's more like, you're doing a ritual kind of thing. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? These are evil normally. What the hell? You just got me there sort of cackling with like, hey, 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 as I'm yeah. like, doing this as well. <laughs> so it's not looking good for me. Yeah, because it's, no. it's got VSM for components. So she's put all her material components in her pot, um, which is also part of the, the thing. She's waving her hands around with like arcane symbols, gesturing as they're feeding this thing. And also, she's speaking in an arcane tongue at it. So yeah, it does look a bit intimidating as all these fucking multicoloured flames are coming out of this gold pot. So yeah. Yeah, so I'll just say, I'll just say to her, like... I mean brass, we know. We know. Yeah, I'll be like, um, Kerry, what exactly are you doing? And I just sort of keep in concentration, just sort of like flap him away, like with my hand, mm-hmm. like, no, 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 shush, shush, shush. So, yeah. And uh, as everyone looks on, the flames almost, they get that tiny bit higher and suddenly it seems to like shoot out sideways and it sort of resembles wings. Um, and then the flames sort of shrink down until the size of a hawk is visible. And I got me a hawk, guys. <laughs> yep, all the kind of flames almost like... Like you made yourself a pet. Like scorch yeah. marks almost from the, the fiery wings. It looks, it looks like a little phoenix, I guess, at this point. And then it just starts like... Mm. It burns itself to the point where like all the feathers come in. As if they're like the the byproduct of it being burnt. And then it kind of shakes mm. off all the kind of... Um, the kind of, uh, what you call it, combustion and charcoal, I guess. Um, and then this little bird is in the bottom of this kind of now cold, no flame brazier. Um, and it just kind of blinks a bit, t- twitches its head Does and it just looks look up. Does it look like a flame bird? Like a fire bird? Nope. Looks like a normal hawk now. It says it dusts off all the, oh. the charcoal from when the flames went out in one go. Can right, we like imagine that I was like looking at it all wide eyed and like, <gasps> you know, while it was like burning and everything and once it became, became like normal looking, I'm kind of like deflated. Just saying. So, yeah. um. <coughs> <laughs> this whole thing took an hour, by the way, over this week. I've always watching The Crazy Witch for an hour. <laughs> I'll just be like, um. I look at her and I'm like, ooh, we're Hawk Mummy's sister now. <laughs> What's yours named? Um. It calls at you and just looks at you. Look, it wants to know as well. <laughs> Called Alico. 
Can I type that in chat for us? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying. It's, it means... I don't know where uh, you find these things, but that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it means rushing flight or like wild wind in Elvish. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. I literally just googled, Elvish for flight! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Bird equal Aleko for kitty. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I'll get you an Aleko right now, shall we? Yee. I'll make that just now. Right, right, so... I'm happy we're just gonna have a playmate, I guess. Yeah. Hawk sisters doing it for themselves. And then I like I scoop it up, sort of pat off the rest of the dust on it, and then open a dimensional portal and shove it in. <laughs> Close. <it. laughs> so yeah, describe how opening your dimensional portal looks for every day as well. Um, so it literally just looks like I'm pulling a zip down in the fabric of space, and it's just like a, a hollow sort of shiny. It looks like space, like uh, the Milky Way just sort of opens up and. I do gently shove it through, but it's, it's still, yep, here and then I'll bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you live in here now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, dusting my hands off like, all right, shall we get some food? <laughs> I thought that was the food. <laughs> <laughs> I glare at him. Fair. <laughs> Seems very fair. Uh, right, I'll get this character sheet made. I do want everyone to know that I will love and cherish this thing like it is my actual child. <laughs> but I just love the idea of me like, oh, look at this, it's so adorable! Space dimension. <laughs> and there for now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll get it out at dinner, guys, and like, give it some food if it eats. I don't know. <coughs> we'll find out! Wait. It's not exactly real. What, what, what else exactly do you have in that space dimension? <laughs> One for storing things. Is this where you've got like a niffler size collection of just crap in there? <laughs> this is how I carry everything, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, know your secret. My secret's revealed. Oh no. <laughs> uh, right. Uh. So, yeah, I think Kitty just casually walks away. Do you take your brazier with you? Because that's still there. Um. Well, I'm assuming it's probably quite hot still, so I'll leave it there for now. Weirdly, no. Oh. Well, I will take it into the house and maybe disguise it as a sharing plant links. pot. <laughs> I just take the vase that some plants are in, like, go, huh, chuck it somewhere, you just hear a distant smash, and then, like, these plants now go in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So there's been no, a lot of remodeling to the thing. garden. Yep. <laughs> okay, so it's fine, I pay someone to fix it Yeah, there were <laughs> servants earlier trying to get them to leave the garden alone but it didn't really take so, I mean, your family did try oh. you know uh, let me put this into your journal let's see let's see that's how I imagine you about it, I call Right, if you look in the Companions folder that you've probably now been able to see on the Journal tab, uh, you should have yeah. have a hawk. Oh yeah! Excellent. A little fiery burb. Yep, yep, yep. Well, it's not fiery, but... Born of flame. Like brown, yep. reddish tint to the wings, so it's my little fire burb. Excellent. Uh, right. So after that weird encounter in the outhouse, um, what do you do as a group? So she's wandered off and just smashed a plant pot and put the plant in this. Um, yeah. What's everybody else up to? I think all in this is are maybe around still what, I, two I at the most. <laughs> hmm. I'll be like turning to Kitty and be like, I pet it. Well, I mean, if you can open the dimensional portal and pet it, feel free. Oh, it went away. Whoops. 
Okay, my bad. <laughs> it's okay. He'll, I'll, I'll get him out at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in the middle of dinner, just zoop. Here you go, buddy. Have some food. <laughs> <laughs> um, back, back you go now. <laughs> so, Crumbar, can you roll Ryan. insight for me? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Barely. <laughs> Can you tell me what goes through Crumbar's head when he sees someone use magics that look very, as you described, evil ritually to summon a bird made of fire? from what looks like a makeshift pit in a brass pot. Given uh -huh. your current tension with things from mm -hmm. fire pits and mistresses of the flame. But also your love of self-cooking meat. Right? <laughs> and potential <laughs> new meals. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've, I've literally just been trying to think about how I'm wanting to Uh, how I'm wanting to kind of deal with this situation. Also, to know that stuff, Scott, you'd need to roll for more detail. Ah, okay. If you um, want, you can, you can roll a history or arcana to get. I will go with. I guess it'd be more history. It's up to you. Either way, valid. Uh, there is a brass dragon, yes, and <laughs> they are considered neutral in most matters that come up regarding dragons. Not that you know much about it, that could just mean that you don't know enough about the affairs of dragons. But as far as you can tell, they they are neutral. You know, nothing more other than they exist, essentially. Okay. And that they are not your enemy. Maybe. Filthy neutrals. So, um. Yeah. Currently. Sorry, I'm trying to think about how I want to, like. Well, how pretty to well, I'll interpret the seven this. for you, right? The seven is you can tell me what Crumbar thinks because I'm not going to give you an accurate answer either way. And that's just what Crumbar will think, um, regardless if it's right or wrong. Because. In well, the meta, we know Kitty didn't do anything specifically evil, but Crumber doesn't know that. And Crumber can't tell if that was meant maliciously or not. Right? New plan. Right. So, if ever if everyone were to look at Crumber, then now you'd see him kind of having a really conflicted look in his face over what has just happened. Um, and he's not quite sure how to process it because it's like, like I said, to hit, in, in Crumbar's head, he's like, you know, you have just summoned something from a fire. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in, his, in the current history, the two other things to be summoned from fire either kicked my ass or kicked my ass. So... <laughs> And I pipe in, I'm like, fire isn't always bad. It's, you know, fire, just fire. an opportunity for nature to renew itself. Also, the mighty crumber can never be beaten up by a bird. Real deception. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> crumber just kind of walks forward and goes, we need to talk, Kitty. And on that, I will cast this. Okay. Cool. I love your trust in nature, by the way. How does this look? <laughs> How does it look, Crumbar? Describe, describe it to me. So, as I'm walking, like, so I've walked up to Kitty, I've said, we need to talk. And as I've said that, I just, 
You know the way Iron Man jetpacks away how he has his hands down at his side? Yeah. Yeah, I do that and then uh, there's just a 15 foot 15 foot radius or like in a big circle mm-hmm. just kind of starts to glow bright gold shimmer gold sorry that's the word I'm looking for so it's a 15 foot cone in front of you is it not a radius oh, is square? It a cone? no sorry it is it's a radius uh, square no, even though yeah, it says it's a, uh, it's a zone I was confused there I'm reading it as yeah, cone yeah sorry I was so, like shit did I no, not read no, that? no you're good that was me that was my bad mm-hmm. um, yeah basically if um I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Okay, so what um, used to happen with this then, right? So, first time starts our turn, must make a... Cr- so, did you... I guess nobody said they're specifically far away from each other, so can everybody that isn't calm give me a charisma saving throw? That's what it looks like on the floor, guys. That's bright and yellow. It's butter. That's huge. Oh I mean... Like, it's not to scale. <laughs> <laughs> You've like swallowed up all of Glitter Higgins with that. Well, no, because Glitter Higgins here. That is, like, like not ideal. Uh, do, do you want me to draw a banana for scale? So, no. Uh, what is your spell save DC, is what I want from you? I'm pretty sure it's 13. I'll just check. Yeah, 13. Cool. So, Reach made the save. I um, Alright, so on a failed save, so this is Arya and Kitty, right? Unless Arya wants to use a luck point. Wait, is Eric not here as well? No. no I thought he, I thought he was. Family business. Mm-hmm. I thought he came along as well, sorry. No. no. I'm trying to sync up the timelines. Bear with me. Uh, good luck. I'll be fine. <laughs> These are all lost for two months, so oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, right. Arya? I failed. Did you want oh, to use a luck point to re-roll, though? Oh. No, no, I'm happy. Failing. That's possibly fine. lying against him right now. So, on a failed save, a creature can't speak a deliberate lie within the radius. You know whether each creature succeeds or fails on the saving throw. An affected creature is aware of the spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Such creatures can be evasive in their answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth. So you know that Reach wasn't affected by this spell. Mm. But you know which that is kind of, I, I kind of like that because it's not Reach that I'm really wanting to question. And yeah, because he's Golden Order, right? And this is how you mm. know these th- these spells is your Golden Order divine dragon powers so yeah and um, so this big golden wave ripples out from you and this slightly more like pristine looking kind of dramatic effect aura happens and yeah um what do you say so all of you know quite clearly because of the visible effect of the magic but you also know the effects of the spell if that makes sense like you know it's like you can't lie Uh, so I look at Kitty and ask, where did you learn this ritual? I was a wizard's apprentice for many years. Tell me more about this wizard. I pipe in, it is known. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just, just some old dude who, well, probably a lot older than he actually looks, which that's saying something. Um, yeah, just... He was in charge of me, learning, giving my education, uh, when I was a young, young wood elf. Oh, those are the days. Um, I'm just going to ramble on, really. Like, didn't specify Mm -hmm. parameters as such, so I'm just going on about day-to-days. Like, he'd he'd have me mop the floors, he was a bit of a bastard like that, but somehow that was supposed to teach me something. I forgot, it's been a while. Feel free to like, interrupt. That's <laughs> enough, Kitty. <laughs> I hope you understand that you've, you know, out of recent events, I can't 
really be too trusting of things getting summoned from fire. What are your intentions with this parrot? <laughs> it's a familiar. It's gonna help me in, like, fights and things. So it's here to aid us? Yes. Why would it be doing anything else? Mm. Not anything, I, just you know... so you know. <laughs> I completely threw me off. <laughs> um, hmm. Probably just tastes like ash. <laughs> charcoal. Very burnt charcoal. Mm -hmm. That might not stop him trying, but <laughs> carry on. <laughs> Ryan, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm drawing a lot. You mind how that guy yeah. in the portal said that he was working for the king of thing? So the red robed man? Yeah. Yes. You know how he said, I, I serve the king, and then when we asked her, he said the true king, and then he said the king of something? <laughs> yes. What was the something? I know it was like hell or something like that, but... Does anyone else know how to answer that for him? Uh. Does anyone else remember? Not precisely. Because no. I'm struggling to remember what he, he said. Now here's a little GM note we'll just take a moment to uh, interject with. If you find the details of a ongoing adventure complex, perhaps taking a series of detailed notes during the session will assist with such memory problems. Meanwhile, back in the game, it's the king of hell. Why'd you do that with your Shatner voice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just the king of hell, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just the king of hell. <laughs> no uh, okay, so last question for Kitty. Do you serve the king of hell? No. I just look at him with, like, absolute disgust, like, like, why would you even... What? It just doesn't compute with the stupidity, I guess. Mm. But then it's Crumbar, so I should really know better, but... <laughs> <laughs> like I said, like, currently Crumbar is paranoid level, like, you know, teenage schoolgirl. Yeah. Um, I'm, like, shaking my head, just saying. <laughs> uh, trust me, if I had this spell, I would have used it on you, too. <laughs> um... <laughs> Keep in mind, you, I can, think we're, you we're, can ask Arya things, she's in the zone. Yeah, but I think me and Arya are almost resolved, Shizzle, so... Yeah, um, that's a big step. Yeah. I'm impressed by that. It is a big step. I mean, I'm Aww. teaching her I'm teaching her a language that if she is evil, she could essentially then use that to communicate with this thing to go, Right, kill everyone! <laughs> um, <laughs> this anyway, thing that is a bow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyway, back that to... That already been used to kill, just yeah. saying. <laughs> I mean... I love okay. the idea of in the background of this shot, it's just Arya speaking like the infernal word to activate the bow, and then turning it off again, and on again, and off again, <laughs> waiting for the Inquisition to finish. <laughs> <laughs> um, on that note, I just kind of... I'm like... staring at... Um, Kitty really intensely just kind of being like, yeah, she's telling the truth. And then I just kind of like swipe my hands up. And as I do that, you just kind of see this, like the golden circle kind of just like shrink and then like dissipate and like inwards. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just look at, look, look around the go. I need a drink, and then I just storm off to find the kitchen. <laughs> okay, yeah. What does everybody else do in that scene? It's like, he just, like, drops the spell and, I guess, not barges past everybody, but just, like, deliberately just leaves swiftly. I just, like, shook my head and I'm like, my head. you really didn't have to do that. Yeah, I just sort of, like, well, that was more than I wanted to share with everyone. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm skeptical. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's just sort of in character. Like I had to think on the spot. Like, uh. mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> Not like Callum's had to do it recently, the way. So everybody gets a shot. <laughs> yeah. um, right. Uh, Reach. Any thoughts on that exchange? 
with, that you would share with them, or are you you good as is? I'm good as is, but yeah, uh, it's a big troll of them using the spells there when Haskin. And it's the second time you've seen him do this, right? Like he's, yeah. you've seen him trying alignment change. You've seen him try and do a command. Interrogating yeah. his colleagues. Yeah. But like, there's no alignment shift with this one because you could choose not to answer, right? This isn't like this isn't break your free will, really. No. Uh, it's just the other one was command, and uh, there's okay. no other yeah. way I can see <clears throat> that happening, other than an alignment shift by literally denying someone who you air quote seen as a colleague briefly. You deny them free which will. Is why, mm -hmm. Which is why I've changed command out for zone of truth because yeah. that's what I'm actually wanting more, more, yeah. rather than command. That's, that's how it goes. Like You learn things as you go and you, you evolve, etc. Um, but also, yeah, if, zone of truth wasn't available at that time. Yeah, that too also. It's a very good spell, but it's a higher level spell for that reason. Um, now, if we f if you are good there then, unless you just got anything specific they want to do, like bitch about Crumbar, but when he's not there or anything, um, do so now. Otherwise, I'm scene changing. All good. Change scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exit stage left. Yes. So we <laughs> star wipe to uh, the uh, the study, and uh, Eric, I guess, takes a seat. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, stay straight to oblivion. <laughs> Is that her name now? Um, yeah, so she kind of just sits, leans back, and kind of does her kind of like rest her arms on the back of the kind of she's long thing, and she's like, "Where do I start?" And she kind of just like she's got like her head tilted back on it, and she's just kind of speaking to the the ceiling. This is Livian, your sister, of course. Do you um, interrupt, or does she? You, do you just leave her to it? I, I let her roll it out. And she kind of leans forward and she goes, So, you left me to deal with this. She gestures around herself. That's not another go at you. It's just fact. She kind of like shakes her head like affirmatively and kind of gestures to you. However, I had to handle things. I had to make connections where I could, and you know we have family in High Rock, which I reached out to. I'm still waiting to hear back from them three months later. So I don't think we're likely to get help from distant relatives, unfortunately, which does lead to me to believe perhaps they could be involved in our parents' disappearance, but that's not, that's not important to write this very moment. She kind of like pinches the bridge of her nose a little bit, closes her eyes and shit. But during this this time, obviously I was looking for avenues of income for the estate and people's, you know, merchandise to move from A to B. No point in having a bunch of ships if we don't use them. So, yeah. The Saphir family reached out and we we were politely told no let's put it that way um you can read the documentation if you wish and she motions to like the desk with all those maps on it she like it's in there somewhere um however lord and lady Saphira's daughter took a interest in the family I believe you've uh, become quite smitten with Dukana Saphir. She just stares at you, like, unimpressed. Rolls her eyes and then she kind of looks to the side and she says, However, she's just always there, you know, with Madeline. She just stares at you. I don't know why you don't like her so far. What interest does she have in Madeline? I don't know. Don't you think that's strange? 
I mean... Why is she in her house? All the time. I have no answers for you. She's kind of staring, like, slightly open mouth, but more in a kind of... You don't get what she's trying so hard for you to get, but that's, like, the look she's got, as if... Why aren't you getting this? <laughs> Eric's a typical man. It takes a lot for him to... Whoa! Get the Let's hit that button. Let's just... <laughs> whoa. Maybe a typical Glitterhagen man. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carry on. Typical man within this world. So, yeah. And then... Yeah, that's kind of all she says. She's kind of just waiting on you to react. I, st I still don't know why you don't like her. Maybe she's just trying to help. I, I don't know. You need to tell me more. Help with what? Her family already turned down. My, quite frankly, my, my plead for help. Maybe she sees it differently and disagrees. And she just kind of starts looking around the room and then she looks back and she goes but here we are two months after their rejection with nothing so if she was interested why is she only having tea in the stone garden with Madeleine I do not know I can't read minds oh and here's me thinking you're a mighty wizard now yeah, mine's more of a loud sort of magic, not a uh, mind readery. And she starts mm. nodding. <laughs> yep. Carry on then. T tell me your thoughts behind why you think she's here, because clearly you've got some. Why bother? They're not as colourful as your adventures. And she stands up and she goes, Clearly this sorceress has both you and Madeleine. I will have to keep us safe. And she walks out of the study. And you're damn right she slams that door. Um, there's a safety thing so you can't slam it. There's very no, irritating. It could be heard a hundred feet away, the slam. Well, if this is who done it, I know who did it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope people don't think I did that. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I mean, normally if there is a loud bang, it's probably you to blame. So, yeah. um, so, Crumbar, you're in the kitchen, and there's a uh, a couple of um, like I guess they look a bit like cooks, you know, kind of wearing like white, kind of um, uh, like kind of almost I don't want to say cheap fabric, but like clearly clothes that are designed to just get used and then washed, you know, overall type things. Um, and you've walked into the, the kind of kitchen area and they've asked if they could help. You've obviously said you wanted food. No, I want a drink. Oh well, yeah, let's have that scene. So you walk in and um, you kind of startle them because you just kind of like, you wander through a random door because you've obviously went in a door from the garden and just followed the smells, I guess, <laughs> to get here. I'm like, where would kitchen be? Yeah, so do you want to roll perception for me real quick? And we'll see how quick you find this place. Uh, yeah, so fairly fast, right? So you just <laughs> follow the smells um, and maybe the noises of kind of like clatterings and whatnot since they are trying to prep this crazy dinner that's happening. And um, you startle the people, obviously, and the, like the, kind of the servants, you startle them a bit as you just randomly walk in. I am, you know, holding a battle axe, etc. And um, they're like, Lord, I Lord Eric Greenwood's guest, uh, how, or Lord, Lord Rainwood's guest, I guess they would say, um, how may we help? Are you lost, sir? I need ale. Where can I find some? 
okay, and then like she starts clicking to like at one of the younger kind of clearly like a child, um, uh, kind of younger kind of people are clearly learning like an apprentice type person, and she's like, go fetch the Lord and Ale, and then they run away, uh, and then come back like five or so minutes later with like a big mug, if you will, um, like a big tankard thing, uh, and they hand that to you, and just as like the little kind of girls like holding this up above her head to get to you. Um, you notice a, like a fairly well dressed woman walk in with a big kind of blue dress on into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. She kind of just looks at everyone, looks at you, and then looks at them again, and they all just leave the room. Did I get my ale at least? Yeah, the little girl handed it up to you. Oh, wait, Karen, I thought like, yeah, yeah, so. Yep, she handed it up. Kind to of you. Keep eye contact with this woman as I'm just. Uh, take this mug up and take a big sip. And she's like, are you comfortable? Your needs are being met by our staff. For now, yes. I'm not used to having people getting things for me. It's convenient. It saves you having to get things for yourself. I find that very useful. Hmm. The things I need tend to always be in arm's reach. That's convenient. That must be. I keep hearing my name mentioned. Yeah, I don't right. <laughs> <laughs> Your ears must always be burning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird design flaw, um, <laughs> especially in this party. It seems. Um, right. You so, know. she. Um, she like walks across the room, goes into like a kind of cupboard and brings like a kind of jar, and it just seems to have like various what looks like cookies and stuff in it. Um, and she opens various what? Sorry. Like cookies. Oh right, okay. So she opens like the kind of jar, pulls the cork kind of like lid off it, um, and she just sits there and she just starts like crunching on it, like that. Where she got like her arms folded in front of her, she's leaning back against the countertop, and she's got like her elbow in her in her palm of one hand, it's across her waist, and then the other one's just feeding a cookie into her mouth as she's just staring into like the middle distance between the two of you as you're at the other side with your tankard and she's just mm. standing there crumbs getting all down her uh, her blue dress and as soon as she finishes it she just kind of stares into space and then just goes and gets another one automatically and just <laughs> starts eating it do you say anything to her or so i take it you're uh part of eric's family then and she kind of just like slowly nods Without like even looking at you, just slowly nods while eating this cookie. Uh, so, um, looking at her, what kind of age would she be? Would I say that? She's oh, like... roll insight. I never say your answer out loud to her. <laughs> it's more so. I don't think Eric has ever actually said to us that he's looking for his missing parents, has he? No. I don't think so. No. Maybe. Maybe. Eric? Uh, he nope. actually nope. has a wee bit to me. No, he's not. Maybe to reach, but I don't yeah, think I've actually you're said it to the party. You've not, you've not said it to me. Um, so, yeah, you... Hmm. How well is Crumber at judging ages? Let's see. Basically, basically she doesn't look want. as old as Jet, who is in the golden order what i'm looking at is how old is she in comparison to eric um, i think that's a better way to think of it i don't know if you could tell them like age-wise like they could be the same age for all you know i think that's what okay. like that's about yeah, it yeah okay, okay cool now that works me. she oh, doesn't I... like she acts slightly more mature than mm. Eric, like it look, it's not, and by that I mean it looks like stuff bothers her more than Eric shows. Yeah, no, no, that's good. Cool. Got the information I need. That's good. Um, so while she's munching on cookies, I'll just um, like so. Take it, your Eric's sister then. And she kind of slowly nods again, and she kind of like finishes the cookie, and then she's like, just mm. you can hear the crunch as she's like still munching. And she kind of like looks up, kind of like gets the crumbs off of her dress, wipes her mouth, and she's like, "Yeah." And she's like, "I'm Lady Livian 
Rainwood. And then she like goes to put her hand out. Like as if, you know, take her hand to kiss it. And she actually she just got her hand out to like shake her hand, like a normal handshake. Mm -hmm. Like she changes like halfway through the handshake. Like, I'm sorry, who, who, who are you? I'm Crumbar the Arabic. I'm a paladin with the Golden Order. And I shake her hand and uh, give her a kind of wee nod as well and then take a sip of my beer. And she just, like, after you shake her hand, she kind of, like, nods back. Uh, and she goes, indeed you are. Uh, and then as you, like, take a sip of the beer, she just puts her hand out towards the tankard. I pass the tankard to her. Yep. She grabs it both hands, takes a massive swig, hands it back, and she kind of wipes the foam <laughs> off her face. I just kind of take the uh, the mug back, look down at, like, how much she's drank <laughs> went, and go, hmm! And, like, she kind of just absentmindedly waves to, like, the direction the little girl had came from. And she's like, don't worry, there's loads. Yeah, it's more so I just kind of look at her and go, hmm. Girl that can take her drink. Girl that can take her drink. My well, kind hands of woman. <laughs> so she's, she looks up at you again and she's like, so what are you doing with my brother? Uh, a joke, you know, joking let just go, well, uh, he's our transport, I guess, just now. Um, and just kind of laugh at that. What do you mean by that, Mr. Dinabook? Like, well, um, he's a sorcerer, as you know, as I'm sure you must know. Of course. She just kind of like shakes, shrugs, basically. <laughs> He has access to magic, but I don't. Do you do magic? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Is there any way that I can um, demonstrate, like the gold, like the golden aura that I have when uh, I use spells without using one? Nope. Nope. You don't have any yeah. fluff magic like say, yeah, a wizard yeah. would have, I, sadly. Um, I go, I well, um, in the party, for you. <laughs> um, you oh, this theater, it's like, you well, could lay uh, on hands for one, right? I could, yeah, I'm, I'm literally thinking of doing that. <laughs> and it's like, in fact, screw it, we'll probably get along with this at some point. I'm gonna use <laughs> one lay on hands on the cup. It doesn't, uh, doesn't work on the cup. It, I'm going to use it on just the random air. Um, nope. nope. It's going to be on you or her. Use it on her then. So how um, do you broach this? Do you just like ET phone home, put your hand up? Like... So um, I reach one of my hands out and you can see just like it's starting to glow with a kind of <laughs> golden aura. Um, and I go. My my magic is given from uh, the go uh, the great gold worm. So like, and then it's kind like of how do you like, So you cross the room and take her hand, or do you? No, yeah. I mean, like we'll be standing face to face still, because you know. We'll yeah, but she's a noble lady, and you're, and you're just gonna go grab her hand. <laughs> yeah, or, or or I'll extend my hand out actually. There we go. As it is glowing. And she goes, she like goes to put her hand there and she kind of like hesitates and she goes, what's going to happen? It's safe, trust me. I would never harm one of Eric's family. Cool. She does it. Her insane and, bitch. Uh, <laughs> as she touches my hand, uh, you can just see the gold, golden kind of flowy, glowy stuff. Like go from my hand into hers. Yeah, that kind of like does that ripple, kind of like through her and like her hair all lights up very briefly, etc. Um, like her eyes shimmer a little bit, etc. And she kind of she shivers a little bit. It's like it tingles. <laughs> Feels nice, but doesn't it? And then she just you hear like a kind of moving glass noise, like a scraping of glass, and she just holds up the jar of cookies in front of you. 
Short one? And they just kind of look at them like, what? Are they? And then she's like, she kind of like holds them kind of under her arm and she kind of like reaches in and just puts one up to your mouth and she's like, it'll feel good, trust me. <laughs> I just, I... They smell good. Mm -hmm. Um. So just kind of like sniffing at it and looking at her and give her a smile and then just kind of take a bite out of it. Yep, so she kind of like just and does that thing where she kind of like feeds it into like your bite and then she like goes in and just reaches in for more cookies mm. for herself. And just start crunching away at it and just like, hmm. Very sweet. She just kind of absentmindedly is nodding as she's feeding herself cookies. So yeah, I think we um we fade out of using the kitchen. Um, where is Reach Kitty and Arya? What are you up to now? What's what's the plan? Anything else? She's I'll desperate. I'll find food. Yeah, I mean you are I literally waiting. To... I was gonna say you are waiting on dinner. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, do you want to roll perception and we'll see how long it takes you to find the kitchen? <laughs> You'll find it, it's just how long it takes to find it. <laughs> yeah. Did I hit the right one? Yep, you did. We're good. Yeah. Um, what about Reach and Arya? What are you up to? Probably, like, waiting patiently for you know, to be called and to be told what to do because I'm in somebody's house and thus a bit out yeah. of my life. Plus, you could always tend to Ruya in the garden, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'd try to be outside then, mm -hmm. waiting to be called for dinner. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, then inside. Oh, Reach, anything Reach wants to do before dinner? To be honest, not really. So I yeah. think I'm just meditating in the garden, really. Yeah. But, yeah nothing specific. So yeah. yeah. So maybe he's got like the stone garden, and you're sitting kind of on a bench, like a big stone carved bench, uh, with, like cross-legged and whatnot, meditating. And maybe got like Arya and Ruya, like, like practicing, I guess, or training in the background. Um, and a very nice serene moment before clearly this entire house burns down. <laughs> um, so yeah, we uh, we cut to Kitty walking into the kitchen. And you've just got Crumbar and uh, some women sitting at a table, like a kind of table in the middle of the, the kind of kitchen area, uh, with a jar of cookies between them, nearly empty. Would I possibly know who she is if I have like wandered the house and like looked at paintings and things? Because there would have been like some family. Roll perception, and we'll say it's a thirteen. Perfect. That's nature. Roll again. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna get my stylus out. You find the topiary of her. No, you got it. You got it. Like there's clearly family portraits all over the place, um, and there's obviously ones that are like full family portraits, and they've got like the family like name, etc., and who's in it, etc., and it goes on and on and on to the point where it's just the individual like kids that are growing up, obviously. Yeah. Um, that might have been done after the parents have gone missing. But yeah, mm. you've probably been eyeing up the frame. Been like, probably gonna hawk that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Enter the void. But yeah, so, yep, you know it's a uh, Lady Livian Rainwood and a uh, Crumbar Denebic, Paladin. My lady. Curtsy. <laughs> um, are you doing that with like seriousness or are you kind of, are you being um, like sarcastic? <laughs> It's it's it would be perceived as respectful, but more of like a relaxed way, because yeah. like I'm I'm eyeing up the cookies. Mm -hmm. And then but as you do that, she I'm only just, doing this to get to the cookies. Like as you kind of walk in, like maybe both Crumbar and her turn at the same time and do that, both turn and twist their heads and look at you, and like crumbs fall from her mouth. There's a half cookies in her yeah. hand, and then you say "Milady," and then she just like nudges the jar towards like the empty seat that's obviously between them. <laughs> I just hop up on the seat. <laughs> Thank you. She like they're very good, like half full of cookie. They're very good. 
I just like shove at least two in my mouth at once. Yeah, and then she's she like kind of like wipes her mouth again and she goes Lady Livian Rainwood She kinda of just looks at you as if let's go over with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, hi, I'm uh Kit the Thamastasia. She kinda of nods and she goes I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Crumbar at this point just turns around in shock, kind of. What did you just say? <laughs> and like, Livian just points to Crumbar, to like as if to say, yeah, what he said. <laughs> oh, uh, Kitlith? Anastasia? She goes, ah. Okay. Can I just point out, I'm going to mark a uh, quest is no longer relevant. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, I noticed that and was like <laughs> <laughs> So um she's like okay. Um if I can call you Kitlith or Kit, you can call me Livian or Liv and she kinda just waves the cookie half in the air that she's now got in her hand somehow. Yeah, Kit Kit is fine with me, Liv. She just kinda like smiles and then like taps the jar again and then eats our cookie. I grab another one as well. Nom nom. And then um, during the the wonderful cookie meal she then says So, how do you know my brother? You seem too pretty. Whoa! Hey man, you're not here, right? This is the kitchen party. Ears are burning. <laughs> Reach, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she says that to you. Um, well, has he told you anything so far? Oh, me and lovely Crumbar here have had a lovely chat. I'm trying to like just like oh, taps you like now? your your hand. <laughs> sort of look at him like, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even bother to ask first what she knows. <laughs> oh. Okay, so so what has been told? Because I don't want to repeat things if you already know them. I mean, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Crumbar? Do you want to tell uh, Kitlith what you have told Livian? So well, Kitlith. Confused look. <laughs> Like, who even are you anymore? <laughs> um, just telling her that Eric has been helping us with a uh, our quest, and at current point, I think he's um our most useful transport. Oh yeah, yeah, his hammer, yeah. Sort of nod. Chair looks at you. <laughs> I love her casually, you said, oh yeah, yeah, the hammer, yeah. She, at that point, like, Livian looks up and she's like, so the hammer thing is real? Yep. I mean, yeah, Man. it's a hammer. <laughs> that, that explains it, like, yeah, of course, a hammer, they can teleport you, sure, it, that's it's normal. Like, like, I mean, if you not, like, it's more that kind of, of course it's real, have you never seen a hammer before kind of thing? <laughs> Oh, that, the very basic dumbed down yes. it's a hammer. Do you know? Are you that noble? Are you that far above like the lower <laughs> class that you don't know what a hammer Wait, is? So this, this How much would a hammer cost? Like three hundred gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> First hammers are real. I break them on the daily. <laughs> <laughs> so you start your morning, of course. This hammer, smash another. Wait. Wake up, brush teeth, smash hammer. Um, the cycle of life. <laughs> I should have thought when you roll a goal for you. It does involve a, a rice <laughs> throw as well. A dice what? throw. Don't, don't Breaking a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Livian looks at the both cowies. of you. So, Livian looks between the two of you and she says, How do you go from one place to the other with a hammer? Or you have to buy it dinner first. <laughs> um, and then you I, hear her like mumble into her like tankard, um, and by that I mean she's taken the one you were drinking from over. Uh, 
and she she kind of mumbles into it or host a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would just say it's like well, I don't really know how it works, but it can summon a portal that we just step through. She kind of just narrows her eyes and she's like, "It seems awfully convenient." It is. It is really convenient, but it does have its limitations. Well, it's my brother's hammer, of course it will. Ha ha ha. Limp dick motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> wow. Crumbar's had too much to drink, I think. <laughs> Being ridiculed. Oh, wow. Um, hey, your sister needs to blow off steam, okay? <laughs> you brought a lot of stress in her life. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'll just say it's like, uh, sorry, just back in game now. Um, so, but yeah, for the logistics of it, I think you need to speak to Eric about it. As it's, and it's an arcane that's lost on me. She kind of just nods absent things. Like, kind of stands up. She goes, "Forgive me, I need to go prepare myself for." dinner and our guests. I will see you at the dinner table. My servants will fetch you when we are ready to serve. This was pleasant. Yes it was. But before you go and I just kinda <laughs> shake the the tankard and I'm just like, uh refill? Yes, the servants will refill that for you. Uh, she leaves the room, the servants just somehow appear again, like, from other doors, as if, mm. yeah, they were just waiting for her to be needed, do you know what I mean? Um, and, like, when the little girl, like, runs up, grabs her, her tankard runs away again, <coughs> and, and scurries uh, downstairs. I get, I, as she grabs it and runs away, I just go, uh, one for Kitty as well, please. <laughs> yeah, and she just, like, Who is this Kitty? <laughs> Who is this Kitty you what? speak of? <laughs> Kitty, did you evolve too? Kitless! <laughs> um, so, yeah, we fade out on that scene. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess we have everyone summoned for dinner, right? Me. Unless you two need to exchange any words in this secluded kitchen moment. I'm just gonna eat my cookie, drink my drink. Slurp. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'll just go, so... Catlip. Mm -hmm. Is there any other surprises that I don't know about you? You'll find out when I do. <laughs> uh, it's like, you're a mystery girl. And I just kind of ching my mug against hers and drink away. Just drink it all away. Yeah, drink it all away. <laughs> drink away the anxiety. <laughs> okay, okay. So then I was just about to post that one. Yeah. Um, we have everybody found doing whatever you're doing. Servants appear and they say dinner will be served shortly. Um, please make your way to the dining room. So. If anybody wants to do anything that is anything that isn't getting ready and going to the dining room, you can let me know now. Eric, doing anything that isn't dining room based? Apart from reading the letter that was sent back, or was it what she sent? Uh, from... It was oh, the Saphir family letter. Yes. That's what it'd be called in your quest journal, I guess. Um, the yeah, it is literally what she said. It was just a very, very standard template, almost written letter of we appreciate your interest in, you know, business. However, we are not looking to take on any uh, surplus, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for here? Contracts at the moment. Best wishes, you know, something super generic. Okay. Which isn't what you would do from one noble family to another. It's quite insulting. Yeah. yeah. 
like if you were middle class or working class, you'd never get a letter if you're working class put it that way. But you, if you're middle class, you would get this letter. So it's a bit of a. a bang. Looking down. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. So that's not polite, I guess. Um, I'm gonna take it, put it in my pocket. Uh-huh. Add it to your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> And it will add you to its inventory too. Um, Magic. It's it's not, but yeah, okay. Um, well, okay, what about you, Arya? Anything you want to do that isn't getting ready for dinner? No, no, I'll just be, like I said, uh, probably in the garden with Ruya, yeah, just but, expecting to be called. Yeah, and like, so, yeah. as I said, you've been called, you send Ruya off just to kind of be in the garden, I guess, until further notice. Yeah, I mean, there's trees and stuff and yeah the garden's huge you know, yeah birds like to fly around and everything so yeah it'll definitely be I'm content here definitely <laughs> content here um it's like a mini nature reserve so we're good for that uh crumbar you went uh, for dinner do you do anything that isn't go to dinner no i was just thinking sit and drink with kitty so we had to go get food and kitty anything you're doing you've been summoned for dinner uh, just stuffing more cookies in my face. Cool. Eventually, sadly, you did consume most of the cookies, sadly, with Olivian. But there was maybe a couple left at the bottom. And then she leaves. Because it's polite yes. for her to leave at least one each for you guys, right? Not to finish yeah. them. J just to let you know, Roya does seem to have a bit of a preferred perch spot on that topiary that Bar <laughs> butchered, and I tried to fix yeah. a little bit. It's almost so, like it's got um, that familial magic thing going on where it knows you helped. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but 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 also like, if 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 there's any like bird poop on it, it it just brings a bit more character to the work. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> With the infamous uh, milestone of your adventure will be this great topiary that you all constructed together as a team, <laughs> <laughs> potted in this brazier for some reason. Um, so good. <laughs> uh, Eric, did you? And by that I mean Callum. Did you mark inspiration on your sheet from earlier, like I said? I have. What was that for? Um, I mean, I feel like I stated that in the last time, but for the recording, it was just because um, your back and forth conversation um, with like Takana and all that, and uh, like you're adding to the game for like your your backstory and stuff. Um, okay, that. cool. Um, and then the same for Kitty. If you don't already have it as well, uh, can you add inspiration to your sheet for? this okay. session so far. Um, and you all remember what inspiration is, right? You all remember what it is and does. You can spend it to give yourself advantage on something or cancel out disadvantage on something. Okay, okay. I, know how, I know how Eric got it. How did Kitty get it? I mean, she gave us a whole load of her backstory today. I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Um, See like your character, personality traits, and flaws and stuff on your sheets as well. Anytime they they come into the play in a big way, um, I'm gonna try and like be more savvy of all that stuff. It's just a lot to track, um, but yeah, I just want to try and hand it out a bit more often um, than what we've done so far. But it's just difficult to know when specifically, um, without it becoming like a democracy thing. So <laughs> it's one of the fairly terribly handled sections of 5e in my opinion is the where are the rules for this vague thing please um but anyway the everybody's got what i wanted to have uh, reach you weren't doing anything that wasn't getting ready were you no not really cool. cool so you're all summoned by the servants you all i uh, get led into this big fancy very long Dining room. Uh, Eric, do you want to describe your big dining room to us? Ooh. Huge wooden table, fancy chairs all the way around. Apart from my chair, it's the fanciest of them all. <laughs> there's a big fireplace, uh, there's a nice big cap under the table, big blue drapes from the windows, and there's a family portrait above the fire. Right, so <coughs> there's going to be some map work for this for one simple reason and you'll see it soon let me just move over to here not quite not 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 quite yet um so here we are right 
and it's a lovely, really, really dull, dull boring map. And let's see, I need I need a table. Let's get need it. a throw-in, and you need a table <laughs> and some normal chairs. Yeah. Right. So let me get myself a table and some chairs. Where are we? Where are all the tables? Where are all the single tables? Okay, instead of finding fancy tokens, I'm just going to draw. Right, so we've got... Right, so we've got the table, right? Now... Callum, see everybody. See everyone. Yep. Your chair will be here with your back to the fire with the family portrait. Whoa, that's tiny. Oh, too big. Wait. <laughs> I'll remove that one. I'll remove that one. I mean, it's mostly to find out where you're putting the canna, isn't it? Now I'm gonna sit you guys. Where do you guys want to be sat? I mean, you're picking the seating, so you're telling them where they're sitting. Fair enough. And we'll moan about it later on. Yeah, yeah. that is true. I mean, obviously we'll moan about it later on. <laughs> That's not right. I'm just... Any reason why you're putting Crumbar as far away from you? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I put him next to you, uh, purely because, I don't know, you two get along more, <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> Do we? Yeah. Uh, I, well, you're teaching it crackles, so. <laughs> Lol. I love that you don't put anyone at the other side of the table. <laughs> no, because he's a big boy, he needs all the space. He has ma he has room for many tankings of ale there. It's living the older sister, because technically yeah. she should be opposite you. But yeah, I was thinking it. that as well, that's fine. I just yeah. want to see how he set it. Um, I, that's, I, I'm going to draw my plate. Uh, uh. Um, yeah, but you can put it next to you if you want. Right across from Saphir. I would love that. <laughs> no, actually, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, dear. What are we doing? So you want that, yeah? yeah. That looks quite good, yeah. Um, right, okay, cool. So, he's walking, and like the servants are all at the sides of the rooms and such, and then they seat everyone. Uh, obviously, the last person to enter the room is Lady Decana Saphir. And uh, obviously, she's the doors are opened. One of the servants says and slightly announces her, Lady Dukana Saphir, and she's wearing what can I can only really be described as an Oscar-worthy dress, right? It's um, so inappropriately revealing, um, <laughs> and anything that looks like it should have been material it seems to be sapphires. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried they didn't have much money as well because that was the first dinner they were having since they'd gone, <laughs> but no, <laughs> not quite the case. <laughs> and um, yeah. So then she takes her seat and she smiles at everyone um, very politely. Um, our kind of like almost silvery blonde hair is like over her, over her shoulder. Um, all kind of loose to one side though. 
Um, again, like a very, very nice kind of... It would look silvery, but it's all platinum. Clearly it's platinum that she's wearing as jewellery as well. If she was trying to explain to people that she's made of money, she's wearing a lot of money. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, that's one way to do it. And uh, she sat there at the uh, table and she smiles at you and does a little kind of courtesy. Um, Eric. And then obviously the servant helps her seat and whatnot. I, get a I wonder if she'll be, um, you know, leaving with as much money as she's come here with, considering that she's sitting next to Kitty. <laughs> That's going to be very interesting. She stands up and like her, all the sapphires fall like marbles off of the dress because Kitty's <laughs> done away with stuff in it. Oh dear. Nah, I think we're I think we're probably good on that front because yeah, well we'll see how dinner goes. So uh, yeah, uh, food gets served. Eric, what did, what are they serving? What's the first course? God. Um. God. It's probably not on the menu. But extra. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've not been it three months. I ain't got a clue. Fish dish to start with, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess something light as a starter, maybe. Yeah, it probably would be some kind of weird, like, you know, expensive fish or something, wouldn't it? So, yeah. Shellfish or something like that, but yeah. That's... Yeah, oysters maybe? Like, yeah, something like that. Possible, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, cool. So yeah, you probably get something like fancy, fancy, fancy oystery thing that's served. Um, everybody makes the appropriate slurping noises, of course. Um, Yay! And uh, who starts the topic of conversation? Because there's just Livian, probably well named as Livid at the end of the table. <laughs> As like the firelight um literally just sparkles off this sapphire dress that uh Dakana is wearing. But yeah, there's um which one of you is gonna break the, the silence? Because Livian specifically won't speak, she just is staring right at Eric the whole <laughs> meal. Madeleine's um, tucking in because she loves it. Who's there in Eric the whole meal? <laughs> Livian, his sister. From right across the table. She's not being subtle about her hair. Hey. Issues. Well, she's not being subtle about it. Um, while I'm just kind of stuffing my face and eating all the food and drinking lots of drink. It's kind of cloth. Do I know it? In fact, we'll have a lens to see if I notice it. Sure. It's probably a 10. <laughs> the DC for this. Yeah. Yeah. You so in that case, I just go... Just turn to Lillian and say, it's like, so, you seem to be staring at Eric quite intensely. She kind of just shakes her head a little bit and she's like, was I? Did that mean you were staring at me, Mr. Denebic? No, I just noticed these things. If you were holding a glass of wine at the time, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think maybe that's when so some of the tension maybe starts to uh, vanish from the table. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, uh, she kind of smiles and she says, Do you have enough ale? Mr. Denebic. I just kind of laugh a wee bit and just be like, ah, I never have enough ale. And she kind of like nods to you and then by that point there is like a tankard sat next to you from like a servant that appeared from nowhere. What, sorry? Like a servant puts a tankard of ale next to you. As you say that. <laughs> when he does that, I just kind of pan the one that I've got and then uh, give him the empty glass and go, hmm, to get used to this. She kind of just smiles and she goes, you do, actually. 
What did she, what did she say, sorry? You do, actually. <laughs> yes, I can see, I can see how mine doesn't for one of comfort though. No? Why is that? I am a paladin. I have to be out doing, doing stuff for uh, the Great Gold Worm. Oh, and how is the Great Gold Worm? She says playfully. <laughs> you know him? I know of him. God, this well, table is uh, switched, by the way. All these chairs are tiny. Th those chairs are within a five foot square, I'll have you know. <laughs> They're just... This table may have to be smaller, I'm sorry. Eric, you're, get, you're getting downsized. No! Let's um, make this a bit more reasonable, shall we? Because that's ridiculous. Keep going, no, Cumber, keep going. No, well, um, I don't know him personally, but uh, I'm assuming he'll be doing okay. He is a giant dragon, giant, giant, yeah, giant golden dragon after all. I see you're enjoying the ale. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> um, just smiles. Is, is it? Difficult to get into the Golden Order. I just kind of like... Uh, sigh a wee bit and go, well... I don't know if I can comment on that, but for me... If not you, then who? Uh, and she kind of looks around the table, like, kind of absent-mindedly. Mm -hmm. Like, well, for me it was difficult, but... um. Er, uh, er, I just kind of gesture towards Reach. I'm like, Reach over there is also a member of the Golden Order. Oh, and she like turns to you, Reach. Is that so? It is. Almost all my life though, so I was more or less born into it. So. All right. Did your parents uh, enroll you? Is that how it works? I've never known my uh, genetic parents. Uh, natural parents. Okay. And she kind of like, you know, that way, like, it's clearly she's trying to be polite because maybe this is an awkward situation and does she press on or does she leave it be or whatever. So she's kind of not sure what to say at this point. Whether or not you pick up on that is uh, up to an insight roll if you want to make one. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's fine. Thing. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so she's a bit quiet. Um, I'm also going to move this away from the fire. If the well, say the earliest memories I have of is training in the Golden Order, and uh, but from what I was told, I was just found at the uh, church temple, the uh, temple uh, as a baby, or as a well, very young child. Okay, she's like she is like quite interested, and in obviously like people are refilling drinks. The plates are all starting to get cleared away. What's the what's the main course, Eric? Ooh. I think anything that McDonald's don't make. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to think away from that. Um, I don't know, like a big roast Maybe a nice juice. turkey or something. Yeah, sure. And then there's like <laughs> multitude of like things you'd put with the poultry. Mm -hmm. Some kind of yeah, interesting foil, but yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's just make this the room. But yeah, so she um she kind of like nods away. She's clearly interested in obviously the Golden Order because it's a topic of conversation that isn't severe. Let's see if I can just fix this. God, that is an absolutely awful floor, isn't it? Oh well, it's the floor now. The floor could have been lava, but it's not. That might be a good thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. She uh, kind of almost like makes polite small talk at the end of the table. I says, yes, um, so where are you just going next? 
My brother has said you were all leaving. We've got a bit of a debate about that, but yes. Uh. Oh, my brother seemed quite sure where you were going. Isn't that right, brother? All I know is that we were leaving. Dakana uh, leans in and she goes, You didn't say you weren't staying long. There is a lot happening in the world as we we are we need we do need to help or otherwise things could end up bad. Oh. Can you divulge more? What is happening in the world? Yeah, how much do you tell people about the Yeah, how much do you tell like weird vapid <laughs> clearly super rich noble lady, yeah. yeah. Effectively, we're all dead. We're just waiting. <laughs> no, no. Wow, that was bleak. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, do you want to say that at the table? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. What, what, what do you hit out with, then? Uh, uh, you could argue that we are at war at the moment, but we're not sure what with. So we're just trying to find some information, uh, gather some information. Okay, at war, how horrid with with whom though? Like who would be at war? We don't actually know and it looks as though it might be the whole world is at war. Uh, the, well, the whole land is at war. So it's it could be seen it might actually be a uniting force but as oh. just one way to see it. What would be what would we be uniting? All under the Wizard King, as or as, but yeah, yeah. She kind of looks around the the table like like uh, Dakana, and she leans in. She goes, "Is it too bold of me to ask if that's a good thing?" It's not as part of what we're investigating, to be honest. Yeah. So, you want the Wizard King to rule everything? We don't know. I would say currently he rules most, but yeah, who should rule, we don't know. But also, all we really want at the moment is a partnership or uh, uh, against whether this new enemy might be. Uh, and we're trying to find out about this new enemy. That seems quite challenging. Oh, hmm. yes. And you've been tasked with this judgment no. Oh, but the and she looks like she's very thing. exaggerated when she goes, oh, and she like kind of like puts her hand to like her kind of cleavage and then she kind of goes, so what exactly is your plan? And she kind of like does that not so much to you, but more sweepingly to the table. table. Yeah, I'm still going to answer, but oh, yeah. <laughs> gather as much information as we can to inform as many of the, the controlling authorities uh, as we can, so that they can make their choice. I see. She kind of like, obviously starts like eating, obviously some of the food that's in front of her, kind of playfully, if you will. Um, she sips a bit of her, her wine, and then she says, Eric, and she kind of touches your, um, like your wrist. She goes, it's okay to call you Eric. We're not here on formalities, are we? It's fine to call me Eric. You hear a scratching of a plate from the other side of the table. Just a sharp screech of cutlery stuff. on the uh, <laughs> the plate. Yep. I don't pay attention to it. <laughs> Neither does the camera. And then, um, <laughs> and then uh, she says, "What do you think of all this burden that you seem to?" have upon your shoulders. It must be so difficult to have to be the head of the family in your tragic loss. Never mind, and cue another scrape of the plate, never mind this very difficult task put before you. Sometimes you have to do what you've got to do, and so far me and my companions have to do all we can to keep everyone safe. Chadwick smiles and uh, 
as if kind of a bit impressed maybe um, and she goes good it's good that you're keeping your family safe I kind of just look at my plate <laughs> and like she's kind of almost like caressing your wrist in a way like see like where your scars are all kind of like swirling because it's where it would have been but obviously as I said people have had the equivalent of a long rest to get to this point so anything that's been oh, expended by anyone, that. yeah, anyone that's been that has expended anything, obviously you've had a full long rest. So Crumber, that one point of lay on hand you can have back. Yay! <laughs> can I get my spell slot back as well then? Can you get your what what? My spell slot back as well. That I yeah. Used? You didn't use a spell Ooh. slot for anything, did you? Yeah, when I used the zona trip. Oh yeah, so you did. Yeah, now that comes back to yeah, long rest. Yeah. Um, and she. Uh, She's kind of caressing like where your scar was earlier that she was kind of playing with on your wrist there, Eric. Does that get a reaction from you, or is that like because it's like she remembered exactly where it was? It's kind of look, pop, pop. and I just get and I just smile. And then um... no reach. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cast shocking? That shocking, <laughs> shocking grasp. <laughs> um, oh god. Um, but yeah, so she she kind of just um, smiles back and she says, "Where is your next step? Then, please tell me. I'm so fascinated with this. It's so interesting. Unlike my life, uh, I believe we should go north." Oh, and have you heard of the recent troubles north? And that's why. Oh. Well, have you heard about the troubles north? Because, like I say, we're still fact gathering. Oh, you know. You... And she kind of like waves her hand a little bit um, at the table. Do you say anything, Eric? Um, I was going to say, I forgot now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I went hard time saying I'm looking at her. Who is this, by the way? What's her name? Kitlet? Is it? No. No. Yeah. No, that's... Dukana Saphir. So I'll put her title in Discord, yeah. so it's Dukana yeah. Saphir. Um, but she's happy for people to call her Dukana. Mostly she said that to Eric, but you, you could take your chances, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, so you so say, Lady what have you heard? Um, yeah. Lady Dukana. And she says, oh, you know, and she like, waves her hand, like, uh, wistfully. And she says, I hear things. I have nothing else to do but, you know, pay attention to the world around me. So little to do for a lady in waiting. She just kind of like... We've been yeah. out of town for a long time, so we've actually not heard much at all yet. Uh, if oh. Even rumours would be useful. Yeah. And you're planning on going north on such little information? That's so bold. We're still making plans but as one we will be yeah planning go north we are actually yeah we are planning go north that's that's some time definitely <laughs> okay and what what lies north for you information and hopefully aid to the locals yes it's terrible tragedy that's happening to the locals Is she a diplomat or a politician? By any <laughs> I mean, she's a noble lady that yeah, doesn't really seem diplomat. to have a job, right? So yeah, yeah. she just seems to have money because it's her mum and dad's money, right? Um, so yeah, she says, well, I hear that the orcs are attacking these villages. Terrible shame. When I <clears throat> when I hear her say that, I just kind of like scoff. I think as you say that, like and scoff, Livian scoffs also. Also, I love that Cal uh, never made Livian's name bigger. He just made everybody else's name bigger and left hers. I can't screen. touch it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I can't control it. I've been trying. Really? That's so weird. <laughs> Can't control your sister. That's yeah. actually quite accurate. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say it does. It's in keeping. Yep. Okay, I'll try and fix that then. Um, 
But yeah, so what do you say, Grumbar? Because like Livy and Tut's in a kind of agreement with you, but mostly it's because you're tutting at her and not at Livian though, but uh, Livian's happy to tut along with you. <laughs> you can probably get no, no, I just Yeah. <laughs> I just kinda scoff and stuff just at the met like it. Just at the fact that people are talking bad about orcs. And then I think, um, yeah, actually, I can't actually affect that either. Right? Like, you'd need to retype it, right? Let's delete that. You can retype that <laughs> if you wish. Um, but yeah, so both of you tut at that side of the table, probably for different reasons. And then, like, the kind of like projects her voice over the, the table a bit to get your attention. Because, I mean, no offense, Mr. Or is it Lord? Mm, it's Crumbar. <laughs> Mr. Crumbar. She smiles across the table. Um, I say Crumbar is just fine, thank you. I'm glad you're feeling fine. It is a lovely meal after all. I guess it's go hmm, and just go back to drinking. <laughs> well, as an orc, Crumbar. What is your opinion? I don't have an opinion as such, but hearing of these things, especially so close, uh, sorry, I'm trying to think of what I want to say. Um, <laughs> it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah, hearing about these things so close is shocked me. I've not seen another orc. Well, I've not seen other orcs in a very long time. Nice. I said other orcs, plural. <laughs> He's not in Zone of Truth. He can lie if he wants. Um... <laughs> but, you know, I've not seen another tribe of orcs. Yeah. I've not seen a tribe of orcs in a very long time. And is it your people you reject? Have you civilized yourself? Or is this some act of rebellion? I just kind of like, I just can't, you can see me kind of get almost a wee bit angry. Right, okay. How, how uh, obvious is that at the table for every day at the table? <laughs> well. Do you actually put down your drink? <laughs> no, but with the, Picks up with battle axe, cuts meat <laughs> with battle axe. You can see that with my hand that's on the table, like, so I've got one hand, like, one hand with a mug in it, my other hand's on the table, and you can see that I'm just kind of digging my fingernails into it, mm -hmm. and just maybe, like, marking the wood and such, and just being like, I didn't abandon them. Oh, I didn't mean to imply you abandoned anyone. Um, merely reject the uncivilized for a better chance at a life. We are not uncivilized. No, these, the, these attacks on our northern villages are completely civilized, of course. I did not realize you were talking about the, the, the orcs up north. I thought you were talking about orcs in general. When you said uncivilized. And she smiles very kind of like I guess porcelain is the word I'm looking for again. And then she said, I have not met every orc. I could not pass judgment on them. Well, apologies for my for jumping to conclusion. And she puts uh, like, her Crumbar. hands like, to her chest again and goes, Oh no, you've not offended me, Crumbar. But, back to the topic at hand. Yes, your opinion on the civilized nature of the orcs up north. What was your opinion on that? I just kind of scoff a wee bit and go, I, am, I know that these orcs are not themselves. Something has tainted them. Oh really? What has tainted them? This is really interesting. I didn't know this. She leans I into the table. Hmm. This is what I wish to find out. An orc problem should be dealt with by an orc. And, what's, and she kind of like smirks because what's orc justice? More savage than you know. 
And she says... Sorry, more savage than you care to know. She's well, like, of course, it'll be Golden Order Justice he'll be welding. Oh. And she... Um, she actively doesn't respond to that like sentiment um, at the end. Um, yeah, it's as if she's still kind of looking at Crumbar. Um, and you've kind of said that in between them almost as a tension <laughs> breaker. <laughs> um, and then she just turns back to Eric. She's still like kind of been holding your wrist this whole time as well. And she says, Would it be too rude of me to ask to accompany you all north? I kind of look at her with a slightly shocked expression going, you want to accompany us? Accompany language. You want to accompany us? She says, as long as I wasn't a burden, I don't want to be some, you know, woman who just lounges around the house all day. I'll um, the scrape. look <laughs> towards her in a, in a, and try to, in, you know, as, as politely as, as possible say, my lady, I do believe that these Please, adventures Dekana. can sometimes be a bit um, stressful, and uh... I don't want to say dangerous or. <laughs> I think it's no. Arya. Uh, overly Arya. demanding for a for, for a lady such, a, such yeah. as such as yourself, we have had situations where frankly we weren't really sure if we were going to be returning I would I would hate to put yourself in danger she kind of looks around goes, and like you can feel her like kind of grip your wrist a tiny bit tighter like very briefly Eric and she goes you all seem to have survived and come back from and she kind of shakes her kind of shoulders in a shiver dark days out there beyond the city walls. Each of us has skills which have, have been essential in allowing us to return. Ah, so I'm skillless, I... Mr. Monk. Can you? I Can don't you know. Fight? Are you? Yeah. Seems you've passed judgment on me. You all leap to my protection, it seems, mm. so quickly. If we're in the wild, I would hope this would be the same treatment I received. I uh, just jump in and go, well, we can all fight, can you? Perhaps you need someone that can talk more than fight. No point. I, I, I just kind of like look at her, kind of like, hmm, violence works. <laughs> violence is good. And she kind of sits back and goes, ah, orc justice. Yes. And in, uh, in orcish, I just say correct. And then she replies in orcish and says, fuck off. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She says something else, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine she didn't. She says, fuck off. <laughs> Does the thumb gesture to this side, yeah. Um, now, she replies in the orcish. Um, it's a term that wouldn't necessarily directly translate to, say, English, right? Or the imperial tongue. But it, it's a phrase the orc tribes would use that is, this has this wasn't beneficial right it means mm -hmm. it was it was fruitless if that makes sense like it was um mm -hmm. futile maybe is a better word for it actually so it's a phrase that means this was a waste of time but it's like a one word phrase that would mean that in orcish um so it doesn't really translate properly but she replies that back and maybe it gives you like a kind of jolt of cuz nobody would say that out of a tribe right so you wouldn't have heard this type of terminology um, for quite a while, quite a few years. Um, Continue, continuing in Orkish, where did you learn our la uh, my language? I don't sit idly by in my, you know, wealth. And she kind of like motions to like her glittery dress. And she says, um, I've studied. What that sounds like an orcish, who look knows? Like anything but human. Does she look like she might be part orc? Nope. She looks like right. 
very just fairly like pale, but maybe it's just like the kind of slightly kind of sheened foundation of makeup she's wearing. Um, uh, Ryan, can I just <laughs> can I just check some lore quickly? So sure. obviously, does MDL language... see while you're thinking about that? Though? Does MDL speak Orkish at the table? No, no, it's just me. Cool. Carry on, Crumbert. Um, right. Obviously, I'm assuming that there's books and translations of this is how to speak this language. This is how to speak this language. Would such a book or something like that exist for learning Orkish? Because I hardly doubt somebody's yeah. went and studied. Sat works went. I'm going to translate your language. I mean, yeah, it's a book for everything. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, ask Aramos that, yeah. right? Um, no, there's been. There, I would, there, but some bastard There might be things with like the Rosetta Stone. <laughs> there's been um, pretty sweet. You aren't the only people in the world. There's an entire city full of wizards that are clearly curious about everything. Like, mm. obviously, there's entire civilizations. The elves are older than most people, right? Like, uh. there's orcs no, no, okay. are. Um, keep in mind, you're not the only half orc in the world, mm. and keep that's the term. The orcs would mm. use to say, "Oh, you're civilized." Right? No, I just just wanted to know if it was yeah. something that she could have learnt from a book, basically. Um, it's not necessarily that she. I don't know if you'd be able to know that. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell. She. Roll. Prolong says she might not be perfect if it's purely from a book. I want you to roll history with advantage for me, Crumber. Boop. Um, boop. That's cool. Mean. She has an accented Orkish. Ooh. Which you wouldn't get from a book. Um, right. So. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. So, it's still in Orkish. Mm -hmm. Basically, all this is going to be in Ork. Um, I'll just say to her, it's like... Quick, get in the orc. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, your speech, I can pick up an accent. Can I tell what? No. Accent? No, right, okay. Um, you, you can pick, I can pick up an accent. Who taught you this language? And... In Orkish, again, how this translates would be amazing to hear. Wealth can buy you any number of tutors. Can I, like, lean over the table a little bit and, like, more or less mouth to Kitty and the... to Kitty and Reach, kind of like, not infernal. Because, <laughs> you know, by this point, I would have probably recognized it if it was Infernal. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely not fire crackling. That's coming from yeah, so behind like, Eric. <laughs> I like that kind of, it's not Infernal. I would know. I've been taking less. To be fair, that you'd have heard um, Crumbar speak Orkish by now, right? So, would like, I? I've done yeah. it before. I yeah. guess. He probably swears in Orkish whenever he gets his. Hammer broke. You know. Hammer mm. broken and you know when he cooks his food, he swears. When he travels, or, he swears. You know, yeah. When he dropped it on his toes, that sort of thing. Yeah. Anytime Aramos was present. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Every time Aramos did something that he did not expect him to do, or didn't do something that he expected him to do. Well, unless anyone else at the table is actually interjecting, I think it's just everybody's just looking between the two of them as they exchange this, you know, slightly aggressive language. Um, anyone interjecting? No, I'm just staring at the Kana, kind of impressed. And she's still like caressing I, your um... wrist as well. <laughs> I just yeah, but it, like, knowing like... that we kind of have some secrets, and that Crumbar is speaking in a language that we don't understand, mm -hmm. and knowing that he's a bit like doesn't really have a filter, you know. <laughs> um, I'm I'm going to be like. Apologies, is there any chance you might be willing to switch back to common, to Imperial? We are all very curious what this is about. And the, I'm... the kind of just smiles at Crumbar and waits. I turn to Arya and in Infernal, I would say to her, not now. So, 
Can you roll Arcana? It might. And can you roll? In fact, you don't need to roll anything, Grumbar. Just I need you to roll Arcana. To see if I'm good enough at the yeah. language yet to understand. Yeah. Yeah, you pick up this nice. one. Yep. Oh wow. Okay. No, Ryan. Me. <laughs> Does how? Wait, I cannot pronounce this. Let. Darkana? Yeah, the one or that Livian. I've been talking to. Livian. The one that I've been talking to. Oh, the, uh, so the one that is sat next to Eric? Yeah, the one I've been talking to in Arkish. Right, yeah. Lady Dakana Saphir. Right, yeah, thank you. So Dakana. Like, da da yeah, yeah. It was more the last one as well. Um, did she understand that? You could ask her. Like, mm, I, I how, mean, how would you know that? Roll, in fact, roll uh, insight, and you can see if she made any hmm. motions. Oh, thanks. Sorry. The inside <laughs> noise. <laughs> Do -do. Cool. Uh, you can't tell. She's no, just she's, she's just smiling at you, mm. waiting for you um, to obviously like reply. Every, all the servants kind of look uncomfortable around the room though. You notice that much, Crumber, when you've said back, that to her? Back in Orcus. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Well, does Arya say anything back to him? Like, back to I'm you? a bit deflated, but I shut up. Okay. So, back I love that there's some Orcish being barked across the table. Mm. Arya goes, it's not infernal. Then Crumber turns to you in infernal and says, not now. <laughs> and then you just sit there. It's like, was okay. infernal. So... Yeah, 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 I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably like towards Kitty in return. That that was, <laughs> um, but that was or something like that. Mm -hmm. Not say anything else. So back to the the Kana. Kana. Um, back in Arcus, I'll be like, sorry, um, sorry about that. Um, it doesn't use a word for sorry in Arcus. Yeah. Oh. Um. I must say, I'm impressed by your uh, keenness to learn my language. Is it your language? I am an orc. Of course, it's my language. She like smir like she smirks and she nods like once. But do you really believe that you can help us? Uh, with what's to come? What if anything bad were to happen to you? And then she says to you, not in Orkish, but in a language only you really understand. I can take care of myself in Infernal. And we end the session there. Ooh. I like her. <laughs> I think she's keen to this, but that could be useful. <laughs> yeah, a wee bit uh, of danger in the right direction isn't the worst, yes. is it? <laughs> um, I like her. She's coming with us. Um, so, let us name the session first, right? It's funny how she thinks Don't that you get to make the decisions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am the main character, Bob. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Not know. in this dining room. <laughs> no, it's clearly Madeline. <laughs> Yep. Um, there are so many goddamn good options. Um, I wrote down before oh. we even started, good to be home, actually. Because um, I thought that was quite funny. Uh, what are the suggestions? Honestly, just because uh, yeah. Adrian said it earlier. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, Raid encounters in the outhouse. Yeah, I was going to say, there's. Um, <laughs> I, do, I do like that one too. Um, what one? Putting that one back down there. Yeah. Grand <laughs> <laughs> Theft Bazaar, did you enjoy that earlier? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, right, so there was the dining the dining scene, there was the outhouse scene primarily, there was the little kind of theft scene. Um, let's see. I think. Is there any way to encompass all of this? Hmm. Nah, I don't know if I can merge all of them. Um, Polly, Infernal, Dinner Talk. Uh, but, uh. I don't know, I feel like there are a lot of votes for Grand Theft Brazier here. And it's, um, <laughs> I feel like it's winning. 
I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So, what well, one has the most clickbait on yeah, it? <laughs> so, like, there we go. We have a winner. It has so little relevance on what the session was really about, but I love it. It's great. It's so good. We'll keep it. Uh, I'll type this in just now. Um, can we review some goals? And or what are you trying to say, Scott? Talk to me. I was gonna say. Well, if a good what twenty percent of this party assumed that she was trying to steal a bra other people might go oh they're stealing bras click bait click on it go, oh, just fire <laughs> yeah very possibly um right okay goals uh, i think it's the fastest we've named the session as well um right legitimize trade with horizon i would say that you're definitely working on that you pretty much just need her to do the work yeah i was gonna say i don't think i've completed that yet no, but I would say that you've put all the groundwork down for it now. So you've done the the links in Horizon are essentially waiting on official letters from the Rainwood Estate, um, yep. which she would send. Um, and it would just be a case of using the Rainwood ships to move stuff up and down, really. Um, and that kind of thing. And that can also then be a way of sending messages between the Rainwood Estate and uh, Justoria. Or at least the office of the princess of horizon you know yeah uh, so yeah definitely that's nearly done uh learn infernal from crumbar you are so close to this uh, I, I have a tracker Yay! based on this you had a setback at the start of the session but that, that was the, not great the yeah. dinner table gets you a step <laughs> the that dinner is... table gets you a step kind of more forward you're about let me try and work out what my maths was on this <laughs> you're about 40 percent towards this um nice so far which is good um so keep working on that and you're nearly done uh yay so you've come up with one crumbor learn more about the tribes of orcs attacking the north so mm. i think that'll happen maybe when you end up going north i guess yeah um and then kitty figure out how to close uh hell holes portals without justoria that's gonna be a big one but yep it's gonna be good when you get it um yeah. And then Reach obviously will work on get word to GGW about yeah, Gil. Um, it's a slow one. Yeah. I'm not going to be doing the thing where if somehow Slowbass does that in the background, you magically get XP. Um, right. Like video games would no, do it. You would need to be aware of it for it to count. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, just as so you know, that's a, a thing there. But yeah, good. Obviously, if you just want to make them pending goals or add new ones in, you are welcome to do so and think about it during the week. Uh, and let us crack on with our roundup chat. Do you want to start us off, Eric? Yeah, it's um, interesting. Mm. Um, Another Rainwood Heavy episode. Yeah. Oh, Heavy yeah. Rain would have been a great title. <laughs> <laughs> Copyrighted. Yep. Good game. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, no, it's um, interesting learning that. Lady Sophia is. I don't know what a word is for multiple Mul languages. Multilingual. <laughs> That's the one. Yep. Like all of you in the party. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know. It just kind of um, makes me like the character a little bit more. Okay. Knowing that she's not just sat around being a noble. <laughs> There's another screech of the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anything else you want to add? No, that's everything. Right, add in for me though. I'm going to ask, what is what's Eric's next step? Right, so obviously finish dinner, right, I get that. But is it then just... I know you're planning on your goals, so you'll end up talking to Livian probably about your... Yeah. You're obviously your, your gold because you want XP. You just need to explain it to her. He listens to this, I need XP, right? The GM won't give me it unless <laughs> you agree to this, so... Um, so we'll probably have an interesting persuasion role uh, coming up, <laughs> just so as you know. But luckily, level six, it's fine. And you've got inspiration, so you could always give yourself advantage on that. So that's always a thing, if that was something you wanted to spend that on. Um, but yeah, so is your plan to push on with the Head North agenda? Yeah. Cool. Keep, uh, um, well, stop the threat of the Orcs from, uh, well, Stop the ox from fretting in uh, Glitagen, mm -hmm. more or less. And you're. <laughs> where do you lie on the the Kana wants to come with you? Um, I need to know more about her. 
Right, okay. Um, what, to let her come along, or you uh, want to learn more about uh, her so you want her to come along? <laughs> to be fair, we let you come along knowing very little of you. <laughs> to be fair, you said the magic words, Celeste. <laughs> I really want her to come along. <laughs> so, what's the Eric's thoughts on that part? Uh, it's more. He wants to know, like, if she has. So I mean, is a are you good, gonna, like, are you gonna any like, skills? Are you gonna wait here and interview her for the job, or are you gonna let her come along and discover that on the road? Is what I meant. Sorry. Hmm. Still make your mind up about that. Yes, yeah, okay. No, you have a think about that. Um, Arya, how did you like this session? I thought it was funny. Yeah, that was um, good. Yeah, I mean, obviously I wasn't there as a character, but I liked the, <laughs> the little bit about how suddenly, <laughs> um, you know, stealing from an old lady is a, a cool thing. Yep, it's just um, a done thing, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're a bit morally great this session. Mm. <laughs> I've to admit, and, yeah. um, you say that I'm a bit dub dubious about but yeah, okay. Because I'm like a bit dubious about this lady, and I'm kind of like, mm. you know, not, 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 not happy with the fact that she seems to have found the way to, you know, essentially talk and possibly gain information from our most chatterbox member of the group um, and you know I, I, I do worry a little bit in that way so I don't really trust her and I don't really like her because of that mm -hmm. um, and also it's bloody rude to speak to somebody in a foreign language in the room with a bunch of people that don't understand it I know who would start so... that conversation eh Crumber mm -hmm. eh I know I hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh well and um yeah, so I'm uh, I'm curious and excited, and I obviously hope there's going to be a, a vote on whether or not she does get to come with us. Mm. And um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm curious how that's going to go, but obviously that's for next session. So yeah, it's going to be overall, fun. Overall, like, <laughs> really exciting stuff. Also, I can't wait because we know there's an Arya moment waiting to happen, and I can't wait for it. I actually can't. It's going to be so good. I know. So well, I'm I'm Shall excited you? for that. Um, yeah. I hope you like the little build up and stuff. That's gonna be good, I think. Um, I'm so confused! <laughs> um, so, at least you gave me exactly what I was gonna ask there. It's kind of like Arya's next steps are kind of like, right, cool, are we voting on this mysterious lady? Is she coming with us? Is she gonna be a liability? What's her deal? Oh, yeah, yeah. Arya's not just <laughs> going to be like, oh, yeah, cool, the word of Arya. I'm, I'm totally gonna be like another person that's expecting me to keep them alive. Because uh, she did pretty much say that, right? She said, well, you clearly are leaping to protect me in this dinner table, so you could obviously huh. do that in the field. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's completely different, kind of like... Oh, yeah. Ma'am, sit in your... Mm -hmm. Sit in your seat. Not just an escort um, quest that this becomes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of like, ma'am, know your place, and compared to, like, you know, do I heal him or her sort of thing. So, um... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Arya's definitely going to want to see her prove herself before she votes on whether or not she I mean, gets to I mean, on the other side, on money this. might mean horses. So, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Just say, I mean, I don't, mind nature. Money. I don't mind walking. Yeah. You know, I've I don't got mind a member walking. of the team who's already got a sister wears sapphire dresses. So money shouldn't be a problem anyway. No, Livian <laughs> doesn't wear that. She just wore like. Oh, I wasn't. I was Dakana. No, Dakana's the one. Oh, so I'm gonna look up the book to see if I can yeah, make yeah. myself into a horse if need be. I think you can at this level. Yeah. Um, yeah exactly. You. Right, okay. Um, Krumba. <laughs> I liked today. Today was funny. It was good. There was, was a lot of narrations and stuff going on, so it was quite nice that way when it kind of flows. And yeah. the fact that like there was like a big group of us at the end all kind of interact and I like that. Mm -hmm. That's good. I didn't actually expect to do as much roleplay as I did this session, to be honest. It's kind of odd. Especially when you're trying to play two women at a table that don't like each other. <laughs> and try and make them come across differently from each other. Yeah, that's tricky. <laughs> Um, so hopefully they felt different. Um, 
Yeah, so what's next for Cromwell, right? Because you've got this mysterious woman that seems to speak any language you can. Um, she doesn't seem to have a dismissive opinion about orcs, right? She clearly has a lot of thoughts about them. Um, it seems like she's hired an orc to teach her orcish, is the kind of implication she gave yeah. you. Um, so she's happy to throw money around, right? Um because that's weird. Like the idea of an orc teaching a non-orc orcish is weird, right? Mm -hmm. It's not something that would normally happen unless that person had to learn orcish to take orders, right? Um, yeah. Which is very rare. Like becoming part of the tribe if you weren't born in it is a rare right. It can happen, mm -hmm. but it's rare. Um, uh, it's definitely given me a lot to think about it to explore. Yeah, and like, what's like, so Cromwell's next steps, is it support the Northern campaign, or is it support the Southern, or the Hellhole campaign, I guess? I want to, as much as I want to just go up north and stop that, really we should stop what we know first. Mm. But I think this girl should come along with us. Or even to the Hellhole? Yeah, why not? <laughs> In you go! <laughs> um... <laughs> Into the void! So, oh yeah, cool. Anything else you want to add? Uh, yeah, just that. I like that Kitty has a void. <laughs> I, will, I will just clarify before Crumber gets super excited here. It's only to store the familiar. Oh, what? Yep. Just uh, just need to clarify before you get ideas about putting Decana in there. <laughs> but like, yo, uh, I just found this that massive barrel of ale. Can we just, uh, <laughs> you know... Fire that in the void. Sadly not. Um, you might want a bag of holding or something for that, like a magical storing bag. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that good. Uh, Kitleth. Maybe if you're not muted. Nope. Is it because I didn't call you Kitty? Sophie. No she did. Oh, mm, she's gone. Maybe uh, she's in the void. She's in the void. Um, well, we'll come back to Sophie then if she comes back to us. Uh, reach. <laughs> well, the theft was a bit of highlight, but yeah, <laughs> still to debate. Yeah, it was a really, class. really Get well planned <laughs> and well executed, like scenario. And the dice rolls were all in our favour yeah. as well, which was. Quite How lucky. often yeah. does that happen where you go, I want to steal this thing from a crowded marketplace and it just goes smoothly? Yes. <laughs> so strange. Yeah. Um, but yeah, also <laughs> Katie liked the marketplace as well. She's yeah. she's patched in through text. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so what's... Um, sure I wasn't taught in the <laughs> monk school, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not. But then at the same time, would you maybe be taught surviving? Right? Yes. So and there's lots of ways to survive and yeah. Yeah, and Blade it's, of the Plains is probably them, more yeah. practical than yeah. the Golden Order maybe like. Um like I can believe he was he's willing to go, if you need to eat bread and somebody has a marketplace full of bread then, yeah, maybe you, you can shit. eat. One way or another. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> it's like so but maybe just only steal what you need to eat and then yeah. maybe try and do them a favour later in life. You know, the whole karma thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could believe that. Believe the plans. Uh, yeah. um, sounds like a practical man. No, wonderful dwarf that he is. Um, uh, yeah, so what's Reach his next voice? I know you were more in favour of the resolve the hellhole problem first. So, yeah. I do. I just want to try and keep some of these big bad bosses that were juggling happy mm. uh, as quickly as possible, kind of thing. But, yeah. yeah. And it's been That's... like. Otherwise, they'll all come crashing down on us. Yeah. And depending on how much time you think your story needs to rest, and how much time it takes you to get to wherever you want to go to, like inform her, yeah, it might depend on what you hear back, right? Because yeah, it's it was no no secret how much that took out of her closing one, um, and it's been what a day, like a day and a bit maybe. Yeah, I'd say probably a whole day, really, like a twenty-four hour period since you kind of really last saw her mm -hmm. give or take a couple hours so yeah it is maybe you know if she works on long rest mechanics maybe she's okay 
If she doesn't work on that, maybe she has several levels of exhaustion and needs several days. Who knows? Um, yeah. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes because I'm, like, I'm eager to see what the next conversation is when user alone as a group, not in front of Eric's family or his clearly soon to be wife. So <laughs> that'll be interesting, I think. Um, but yeah, anything else you want to add? No, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, I do think this woman's dangerous and I wouldn't trust her, but we should still probably bring her. That's all I'm not. Well, as you yeah. said earlier... It will definitely make things interesting. Yeah. Well, that's it, right? It's that or leave her here with Livian and come back to no house, I guess. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the way to get your sister to totally support your campaign is you're taking her away with you. Um, <laughs> yes. Just saying, right? <laughs> From everything I know about Livian and everything I know about Dukana, Separating them is maybe the best thing Eric could do. Yeah. Although Madeline might be sad. But, oh well. I'll send her letters. <laughs> this time. <laughs> what, Livian or Madeline? Both. <laughs> good, good answer. Um, <laughs> yeah, Sophie, did you ever come back to us audio-wise, or are you still in the void for audio? Audio void, maybe? Audio void. You've not muted your headset, have you? Is that a thing you've done? Did you Google Google? Mm -hmm. That's okay. We'll just assume Kitty loved everything I did and thinks I'm the best GM in the world and would never say a word against me at all. I'll, officially, I'll try leaving and join again. <laughs> Alright, we'll give her a reset because we'll see if we can get her goodbyes before we all part ways. No audio yet. Hello. Oh, there we go. Hey. 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 So, Kit left. Can I turn it off and on again? Yep. Hello. Hello. Yes, it was nice to have you with us this session. Yeah, it was It was really funny listening to the last one, though. Like, when I said over Messenger, I just kept wanting to like respond to things. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, no, no, this is a recording. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, how did you enjoy this one, then? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, it was quite nice sort of having us sort of split off and do our own sort of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then just like, <laughs> just stealing the freaking... <laughs> the, the that poor old woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's never going to get her son set up with anyone. No. He's, <sighs> she's going to be like, oh, that nice lady's going to bring back a, you know, a nice friend from my, boy, my grandson even. And then she's like, nope, it's never going to happen. You have just been played. I mean, <laughs> Maybe after all of this I might go back, but... <laughs> Here's that three gold, and... Are ya? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, as you look, Skywalker them over. I gift these two droids. <laughs> um, that was good. As I said, I like the... We got to see a slightly more magical Kitleth. Like the actual proper, like, wizard elf. I'm a you know. wizard, Harry. That I was mean, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it was. It was very good. Um, you got yourself a cool hawk familiar. Seems like we're we're the hawk squad. It seems so far. You... Um, oh my god! Can we be the band of the hawk? <laughs> I mean, if you just want to come up with some kind of group name, so that you don't just introduce introduce yourselves as the party, that's up yeah. to you guys, right? Like you know, some kind of the band of brothers. That's who we are. Are you? Yeah, You're sure. The guardians of the land. Yeah, <laughs> we are the guardians of the not quite so expensive galaxy, mostly limited <laughs> to this area here that we're guarding. Yep, that's who we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel free to come up with that. And like, obviously, if you want to have a, a chat in the, the messenger about what you want to call yourself, f that's a thing. Or if it's just going to be Crumbar telling people that users called this and users aren't like. Either way works for me. Get a wee stick for a pet then. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. You need a group. You need yourself a familiar. <laughs> it's just a piece of string and a twig, and you just pull it with you <laughs> everywhere. Yep. To be fair, you did have Twiggy, you know, in the form of Eremos for a while, uh, learning from you. So, alas, um, young grasshopper. Remember that quest you started the game with? Remember way back when? Yeah. Uh, really well, no, yeah. It's, it's fine. Like, who who was Celeste? Eh? You no. Know, new quest. Who dis? Um, so, or whatever the hell Scott's listening to, apparently. Hello. Nope. He's gone. What? We can hear whatever you're listening to. What? 
I don't know, like, every video just started playing. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> um, on that note, though, everybody, thanks for playing. It was fun. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Crumpa says bye. Say bye, Crumpa. Crumpa. <laughs> Say goodbye. Hey. Say goodbye. Hey. Crumpa. Bye. bye. bye.